Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Now to the latest in the coronavirus crisis here in Michigan. Uh, today at noon, Operation Haircut is set to take place on the lawn of the state capitol. Protesters are expected to show up equipped with scissors and clippers offering free haircuts. The rally is inspired by Owasso barber Carl Menke, who defied the stay at home order. And we now know more than 52,000 cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed here in Michigan. Sadly, the number of deaths in the state have now surpassed 5,000. 102 additional deaths were reported Tuesday, but the state clarified that 43 of those deaths were identified during a vital records review. Well, today, GM CEO Mary Barr and other top executives at the country uh, company rather will begin touring factories around the country. They say they're going to start the tour at the Lansing Delta Township plant. Barr and others want to review uh, safety programs put in place at the facilities and answer questions from workers and address their concerns during a video conference. They hope to tour as many plants as they can, we're told, in the next few weeks. All right, welcome back. Good morning. It's around uh, the lower to mid-50s right now. Dry weather today, a mix of sun and clouds. We still have uh, a couple of flood warnings and also lakeshore flood warnings around Wayne and Macomb counties that have been extended until 10 p.m. tonight. The wind will be a little bit lighter today out of the east. The River Raisin at Monroe, cresting later today around 9.2 feet. Huron River at Hamburg, also a flood warning there. Right now, it's at 6.46 feet, cresting not until Friday, but it's a very slow climb up to about 6.7 feet by Friday. So river levels are going to stay elevated through the rest of the week. And temperatures right now are on 53 in Troy. It's 52 degrees in Detroit. Afternoon highs today are going to climb to the mid-60s. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.